Hey everybody, welcome back to my Project 13. First day back to work after 11 days of being on vacation. Had a great time. Got a lot of chores done. Went around town, different places. Yeah, got a lot done. Uh, my family and I did a garage sale. That was pretty successful. We'll be using those funds for a uh, trip to the coast. Stay there for a few days. Uh, Pre-orders. I could tell Idle 4S just went up a couple days ago. Uh, you can go to Alcatel's website, do the pre-order there. Uh, if you do that now, you'll get a uh, VR set with that and a bunch of other little goodies. I'm sure you've seen the reviews on that. A lot of the top reviewers are getting uh, review devices, so they're sending them uh, some pretty nice uh, packages there. The presentation that Alcatel is doing is really nice. And uh, I'm getting ready to decide on a few more devices. Now recently I've uploaded a lot of videos. I don't even know how I squeezed all those videos in with the time that I had off and everything that I was doing. Really, it, I, I was so busy, but I was able to put up some videos on the uh, Blue Energy uh, XL, which is a wonderful, wonderful device, an all metal sexy device, 1080p display, Super AMOLED display, gorgeous, gorgeous. Uh, decent, decent camera decent videos yeah just uh was able to um review that and put it up there three hundred dollars you know um it's one of those devices that you have to decide you know with everything that's coming out is that what i want you know i did a video talking about all the devices that i had in hand and what each offered me personally and which ones i would choose but not disregarding how good the other devices were but at the end which ones would i keep which ones would i give up you know but um if i was just one of those regular consumers that it was just picking up one device i'd be happy with that with the blue energy xl i would definitely as a daily driver yeah i'd keep it for a while and then later on i'd upgrade to something else but doing the review game that i do here you know um i find ways to bring in multiple devices uh, and it's a lot easier to bring in mid-rangers mid-range flagships and budget devices than it is flagships and I cover mostly um, mid-range flagships mid-rangers and budget devices I don't cover too much of the flag every once in a while I'm, I'm blessed to be able to bring something like that in but you know if you're just looking for that one device a large device with a killer screen with, with great sound uh, and it's gonna take decent pics and videos the blue energy XL is a great device I brought in the Moto G4 plus which I got right here and um, wonderful wonderful device this device doesn't give you a lot of extras it's 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 a regular good well really good smartphone it's pretty much stock it's got a couple moto apps I mean you shake it like this you're gonna get the flashlight on if you go like this you're gonna bring on the camera um, outside of that it's pretty much stock so you're gonna get a, a, a really nice single front-facing speaker up top you're gonna get a nice camera a nice video shooter uh, quality build is really nice you know it's got expansion for for extra memory um, like I said it's got a it's a pretty sexy looking device it's you know obviously it's the Moto G third gen growing up it's got a fingerprint sensor and that works really fast it's on front I wish it was on the back and uh, a couple other little goodies it's not USB type C but it's fine it is fast charge so 2.0 but for an upgrade from what the third gen was, it is, it's a really good pickup for 250 bucks. And at Best Buy, uh, you can get a $50 uh, gift card as well. And if you order on Amazon, they'll give you the gift card right now too. So something to think about with the Moto G, um, regular the Moto G, fourth gen and the Moto G 4 Plus. Uh, man, a lot, lot to say there, but I think you know what I mean. So, um, but right now that device is doing really good again. It, it's 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 a quality device it's going to do what you needed to do for everyday tasks it's gonna be fast it's gonna be smooth and again it's a, basically a stock um, Android device with a couple extra moto apps uh, it's a sexy little device um, it's got an, a nice front-facing camera but don't expect a bunch of extra perks with that device it's just going to do the basics okay so with that being said, if you're the person that doesn't want to mess around with a lot of bloat or even 
um, uh, you know, uh, whether it's a lot of bloat or a little bit of bloat, uh, and you just want something that's close to stock, and you want it simple, you want it fast, you want it easy, you, you just don't want to get caught up in all the other extras, this is a great device to consider amongst <laughs> hundreds of devices out there right now with killer prices. So do your homework, shop around and see what you like. I will be, I will be bringing more of the blue R1 HD. Um, haven't been able to uh, do anything on that, but I am shooting this video with that device right now. So this is the first video front facing camera with the blue R1 HD. Uh, it's a nice little device, it's strong. Uh, quality builds, uh, uh, basically a really tough metal frame. It's got a curved display. Uh, the, the, the pics that I've taken, and I've shot a little video, um, aren't really that bad for what you're paying. Okay, I got that special with the Amazon ads on there. Uh, I got the two gig uh, of RAM ver uh, variant, and um, uh, it really, you know what, yeah, you can't expect too much when it comes to the big video, but it's, it's decent, it's not bad quality. The speaker's kind of tingy, um, and it, it's, it's all right. You know, it, it does the job depending on what kind of music you're playing or genre of music you're playing. If it's a lot of bass, it's, you know, it's going to be tingy. But um, yeah, it's 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 decent for what I paid for for 60 bucks. Um, but you know, without the ads, it's going to cost obviously uh, uh, more than that, about 100, 100 something. So um, there's other devices to consider around that price point. But if you can get the special, the ads on here are not as annoying as you may think. It's on the lock screen, you swipe it to the side, and then bam, it's gone, it's no big deal. It's, it's like getting a notification from your Gmail, or a notification from Hangouts, or a text, and you either go to it or you swipe out of there. That is not a deal breaker. If you can get this for that low of a price, the, the little blue R1 HD is something to be to consider, and it's basically stock. It's got an app drawer, so it's like stock Android running Marshmallow. I mean, the blue, Energy XL didn't even have marshmallow, it was still running a lollipop. That was probably the only letdown in the skin on that device. The skin's not too bad, but when you're stuck on a lollipop, it limits you a little bit from other devices around the $300 price point. Um, but this device basically has an app drawer. It's all, it doesn't look blue at all. There's no blue skin on it whatsoever. So it's a great little device. It's fast, it's smooth. I'm telling you, this little device gives me that wow factor that the G4 Plus doesn't just because, well, it's a five inch device with a decent 720p um, IPS display. It's not the best IPS. I did check it with the black screen app to make sure there was no bleed leaks um, going on, you know, any, any, any extra bleeding. There's a tiny, tiny, tiny bit, but it's nothing, nothing that's a deal breaker whatsoever. So it's a decent IPS display and a five inch display. Um, the visuals on there are really decent. Watched a movie on it the other night. So, um, yeah, it's something to consider if you can get that special right now, okay? Whether it's the $50 or the $60 variant of the blue R1 HD with the ads, it's no more than getting a notification from something else and swiping it out of the way. It really is. Something to consider. Already, I like this little device. This is not a device I'm going to get rid of at all. If anything, I may hand it down to one of the kids, but it's not going anywhere. It's staying with me. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, out of, out of the three devices, this one's gonna stay with me just because of the wow factor. <laughs> yeah, I gotta be wowed. I like something different and unique. And so, I get wowed. You know, did, did, did the Blue Energy XL wow me in the battery? 5,000 milliamp, it sure did. It really did. But outside of that, you're getting a Super AMOLED display that should be what it is. You're getting decent camera. You're getting, you're getting decent um, performance. What it should give you for a $300 device. Then you talk about the Moto G um, 4 Plus, and what does it give you? It gives you what basically a stock Android device should give you. There should, there is no wow intended in that device, but it's an upgrade because it, it gave you a couple extra added features. Um, and with that, for 250 bucks, amongst all the other devices that are out there for that price, but it's a device to consider. Simple and easy, it really is. But this little blue R1 HD, yeah, I mean, it's basically, I don't know why blue doesn't do this more with their devices, especially since they're not gonna give you that customer support, the software updates, they ought to put devices out like this little guy right here. 
Seriously. I mean, this is what blue should be doing. This little guy, man, if there was a six inch variant of this device, woo, I'd be in love. I'd be in love. So there you go. A little mumbo jumbo about three devices that I put up some videos during my time off. You guys have been checking them out. I appreciate your time and doing it. Um, keep watching those videos. If there's any questions that you need answered, I will do my best. Send the feedback. Um, even if your question doesn't go with the video, it doesn't matter. Leave the question. I'll do my best to answer it. Um, the other thing is the Moto Z will be coming out. We got the Alcatel on pre-orders right now and the Axon on the 12th of August. So you've already have told me here on my Project 13 that you want me to pick up the Axon. I asked you over a few different devices. The feedback was overwhelming on the Axon, the ZT Axon 7. Now, my son's gonna be picking that up, so I don't necessarily have to pick that up because he's gonna let me review that device. So, but I could still pick one up if I really wanted to. But he is going to get it, so we know that for sure, okay? So, between the Alcatel device that's on pre-order right now, the Idol 4S, and they're gonna have a nice package with that device and the um, asus phones coming out the moto z lineup which one out of those three should i consider okay now that you know that my son is picking up the ztx on seven and i don't need to pick that up if 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 you're if you're interested in the asus the alcatel or the um which other one man I'm, I'm spacing off now paying attention to my driving which i should be um so we got the idle 4s up for pre-orders you got the moto z lineup coming out and then the asus zen phone which i want to get the deluxe there we go that's the one i'm talking about okay uh so out of those three devices which ones are you thinking about which one of those should I consider first and then second out of those three? Now, I've already mentioned I'm not gonna be probably bringing the Note 7. I'm not gonna be paying 900 bucks for a device. Unless they come out with a really killer deal, you know, first week of release that was priced around the S7 Edge, which was what, about 780, then I, I might consider that. But if it's over the $800 mark, you know what? There's other reviewers out there that are gonna be checking out the device. I'll, I'll do some homework and I'll obviously be talking to Jay Wheel because he'll have it, but uh, I'll give you I'll give you what I know on it, and I mean, I'm always doing my homework, so, you know, no issues there. I, I always find out a lot of things that are going on in the smartphone world behind the scenes, whether it's leaks or rumors, and I try to bring that to you, but I'm constantly doing homework. Yes, I take care of my responsibilities too. Yes, I have a job. Yes, I have a family. <laughs> And, uh, and then I find room for all of this. I mean, that's, that's what I got to do, right? My responsibilities. So, um, yeah, ZTE Axon 7 will most likely be in my son's hands. I'll be reviewing that. So looking at the Moto Z lineup, looking at the Idol 4S, the Alcatel Idol 4S, and then the um, Asus Zenfone 3 Deluxe. Which one of those three should I bring in? And then give me your second choice. Uh, and then we'll uh, look and see what the feedback is. Um, so this was supposed to be a short video, but it turned into a, a really long video. Um, it was nice that you were with me on this journey from first day back to work, almost home. Um, yeah, it just, it, it was a great time off and I, I was, I was uh, really excited to be able to get all the videos that I did get up. Um, and you guys, just a lot of feedback coming back from you um, out there watching the videos. Just appreciate the support as always. So anyway, what's on your mind? Let me know what uh, device out of the three that I mentioned. And uh, let me know if you're what you're bringing in. Uh, let me know what you think of, of the devices that I talked about at the beginning of the video. Um, I pretty much have given you the lowdown on these devices, man. I've, I've thrown out what you need to know. I mean, really, in the raw, it's, it's kind of what you need to know. But still do your homework. Anyway, I'm almost done. Have a great day. God bless.
do something nice for someone out there. Life is good. My next video. This is my Project 13. You are my Project 13. Peace. God bless. I'm out.